Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So a year ago, I made a video sharing with you guys how much money I made from my first Uber Eats referral, and I made $300. And then a few months ago, I made a video showing you guys where to find your referral link so that you could share your link to other people and also get referral bonuses. The thing is though, in August, so a couple of months ago, Uber made an update to their referral program and I just wanna to talk to you guys about that in this week's video. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. I make anywhere from Uber Eats driver videos like this to rant videos to how to make money online videos. And with all that being said, let's get into this week's video. So if I go into the Uber Eats app and I go over to my inbox, and I'll scroll down a bit. You see it says updated referral program terms and conditions, and this is from August 23rd. So if I click that, it says, Olivia, we're changing the terms and conditions of our referral program. The new terms will be applicable to all drivers and delivery people as of Tuesday, August 24th, and will apply to any new referral invitations you make. Full details of the program, including eligibility criteria and more information on how to refer others can be found in the link below. So if I click see terms, and then I change the country to Canada, because that is the country that I'm in, the part I wanna focus on is if we scroll down to number four, how do I earn my referral reward as a referrer slash inviter? And then I wanna scroll down after this italicized section. It says referrers are limited to a total of 10 referral payouts. So for me, in the almost two years that I've been doing Uber, I've referred more than 10 people. So if we go to my invite section, you can see that I've had 14 referrals complete their trips and I've earned $4,120. So since I have already referred more than the new maximum, any person who signs up under my link from this point forward, I won't get anything for. And the reason I wanna tell you guys this is one, I know that some of you guys watch my videos and then you sign up under me because you want to support me, like you specifically choose to sign up under my link, and I greatly appreciate that, I very much do, but I just wanna let you know that going forward, I will no longer receive a bonus. However, I just got off the phone with Uber Support and they told me that even though I have reached the maximum number of referrals to the point where I will no longer get a bonus. The person who is being referred will still get a bonus. So if you use my link, I will no longer get anything. However, you will still get the bonus that you deserve. So like right now, if I scroll up, it says that I have eight referrals pending. And then it says however many trips they have to do in order for me to get that bonus. However, if you look, you can see that the bonus is $0 for every single one of them. If I scroll through, the bonus always says zero. So yes, for these people, even though they signed up before August 24th, since I already met the 10 person maximum, when they complete their trips, they will get their bonus, but I will not. Because typically, you know how it says zero of 50 trips, zero of 100 trips, zero of 200 trips, etc., etc. Typically for each trip the person does, I would be able to see how many they've done. I highly doubt that these eight people have all done zero trips, which means they've been doing trips, but I can no longer see on my end how many trips they've done because that information is no longer relevant to me because I won't get a bonus once they finish their trips. So at the top, it says I can earn $2,300 for these referrals, but under each individual person's name, it says $0 and it never used to say that before. So basically I've come to the conclusion that when these eight people finish their trips, I won't get anything in return and that's fine. They will still get their bonus. So all is well on their end. And so another thing I want to say for you guys is now there is a 10 person bonus. So let's say 
hypothetically you would get $200 per referral, well, since you can only refer 10 people, that means the maximum amount of money you can get from referrals is $2,000. And yes, it varies place to place. The most I've ever gotten for one referral was $800, which was crazy, but I've also gotten as little as $10. So for example, when it says I've earned $4,120, that's because for two of those 14 referrals, I only got $10. So that's where the 20 comes from, right? So on average, I would get three to $400 per referral because of the area that people were signing up in. In Toronto, it's around three or 400, depending on the time of the year, depending on if they need drivers. But then the one person who I got $800 from was in Ottawa. And then the couple of people that I got $10 from, I think they might've been somewhere in Quebec or somewhere in Alberta. I'm not quite sure. The point is it varies by location. So worst case scenario, you might get 10 referrals that are only worth $10 and you're only allowed to refer a maximum of 10 people, which means you would only get a hundred bucks. So yes, as I said, that's only happened for two of the referrals I've ever gotten. The rest of them were all worth 200 or more, between 200 and $800. However, if you did happen to refer someone and that area that that person lives in is not in need of drivers at the moment, therefore the referral bonus is lower, and then you maxed out your amount of eligible referrals on people who didn't earn you that much, you could earn as little as $100, $10 for 10 people, and then you're never allowed to refer anyone ever again. So yes, I feel like this is a mistake on Uber's part. And I definitely think that they need to reconsider. I understand that they're paying out a lot of money to drivers because they're referring people. But at the same time, Uber gets a cut of every driver's pay. Like let's say an order comes in and it says it's worth five bucks. I'm still gonna get that whole $5, but Uber has already taken out their percentage before they showed me the order, right? So it's like, yes, you paid me $400 for referring this person, which is a good amount of money, but then at the same time, for every single delivery that that person does, you're getting a percentage. So Uber is making way more than $400 from that person. So giving me a one-time $400 bonus shouldn't be that big a deal. Like Uber's like a billion dollar company. You can spare me a little $400. And I understand that they have millions of drivers. So giving every single one of them an extra 400 here and there might add up to a lot of money. I get it. But at the same time, for each referred driver, you're making more than $400 from that person because you get a percentage of every single trip that person does. So you should be able to give the referrer the $400 even if I referred 100 people. Anyways, that's just my two cents on the update. Will Uber change it back? I don't know, but for the time being, you can only refer a maximum number of people and that could really bite you in the butt depending on who you refer and where they're from and whether or not Uber needs drivers there at the time. The fact that there's not a cap on the amount you can make, like let's say they said you can make a maximum of $10,000 from referrals and once you've reached $10,000, you can't get any more referral bonuses, that would make more sense than saying there's a cap on the number of referrals because not all referrals are equal. So one person might refer 10 people and get $4,000 and someone else might refer 10 people and get $100 which is completely and utterly unfair. So I think if they're gonna do a cap, which I don't think they should because we've established that they have bare money, but <laughs> if they're gonna do a cap, they should do a cap on the dollar amount and not the cap on the amount of referrals. So if it takes you 50 referrals to get $10,000, then that's it. 
you've gotten your 50 and you've gotten your 10 grand. Or if someone else takes 25 referrals to make 10 grand, you've gotten your 25 referrals, you can't get any more referral bonuses, but you still got your 10 grand. If they're gonna do a cap, that's what they should do. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys and give you guys some stuff to think about that as of right now, as of today, it is currently October 17th. So it's been just under two months since this has been implemented. And as of right now, you can only have a maximum of 10 referrals. And depending on who you end up referring, that could really bite you in the butt. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you wanna follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday and be sure to check out one of these suggested videos and I'll see you next Monday with a new video.